The chupacabra, also known as the goat sucker, is a legendary creature that has captured the imagination of people all over the world. The creature is said to be a monster that preys on livestock, particularly goats, and drains their blood. Sightings of the chupacabra have been reported in various parts of the world, but the creature has become most closely associated with Latin America and the southern United States. The mysterious creature has been described as looking like a mix between a reptile and a dog. It is said to be around the size of a small bear, and it has spines running down its back. The creature is said to have glowing red or blue eyes and sharp fangs, which it uses to drain the blood of its prey. The legend of the chupacabra can be traced back to the island of Puerto Rico in the mid-1990s. The first reported sighting of the creature occurred in 1995, when several animals were found dead with puncture wounds in their necks. The local media dubbed the creature the chupacabra, and the legend quickly spread throughout Latin America. According to Brazilian legend, the creature is even able to climb trees and has the ability to hypnotize its prey. There have been several reported sightings of the chupacabra in Brazil, but none have been confirmed. The chupacabra had a heyday of about five years when it was widely reported in Puerto Rico, Mexico, Chile, Nicaragua, Argentina, and Florida, among other places, almost all of them in Spanish-speaking areas. After the year 2000, a strange thing happened, sightings of the weird, alien, bipedal, spiky-backed chupacabra faded away. Instead, the Hispanic vampire took a very different form, a canine animal resembling hairless dogs or coyotes mostly found in Texas and the American Southwest. Therefore, Texas has become one of the most closely associated places with sightings of the chupacabra. In many cases, the sightings have been accompanied by reports of livestock being killed or mutilated. While there have been many reported sightings of the chupacabra, in most of the cases, these sightings have been attributed to misidentification of other common animals. For example, some people have mistaken coyotes or dogs with mange for the chupacabra. In some cases, the chupacabra myth may also be perpetuated by hoaxers. There have been several instances where people have claimed to have captured or killed the creature, only to later admit that it was a hoax. Despite the numerous reported sightings of the chupacabra, there has been no concrete evidence to support the existence of the creature. Scientists and researchers have been unable to find any physical evidence of the creature, such as DNA or bones. On the other hand, geneticists and wildlife biologists have identified all of the alleged chupacabra carcasses as those of known animals. Then, what was sucking the blood out of goats, chickens, and other livestock. Though dead animals were widely reported to have been drained of blood, this is a myth. When suspected chupacabra victims have been professionally autopsied, invariably they are revealed to contain plenty of blood. So, what attacked the animals, if not the dreaded chupacabra? Sometimes the simplest answer is the correct one, ordinary animals, mostly dogs and coyotes. These animals instinctually go for a victim's neck, and their canine teeth leave puncture wounds that resemble vampire bite marks. Though many people assume that dogs and coyotes would eat or tear up the animals they attack, wildlife predation experts know this too is a myth, often they will simply bite the neck and leave it to die. In the end, whether or not the chupacabra exists, it has become an important part of folklore and popular culture. The legend of the creature continues to fascinate people all over the world, and it is likely that it will continue to do so for many years to come. What do you think? Please comment, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching this video.